Hi, this is Vishal and uh, we continue in the flow of TJD conversions and uh, as we have done the previous sessions in which we have worked with your Mokito, Espresso, that's all be a Kotlin conversions uh, from Java. So today again we have a session that's related to your Espresso intent. So how we can uh, intent that means activity to another activity and then check it the espresso ui test for that and how we can pass that parameters with the intent and get back the things on the previous activity so these all we have done in a java but how we can implement it kotlin today so we have to check that espresso okay uh, so as uh, uh, i discussed in many sessions of the tdd that uh, there be a four main parts we have worked with the unit test integrations operational and the system so at this time we are working with the unit test uh, and the ui test with espresso and amokito and uh, uh, that's with the base of the unit 4 and in uh, coming sessions we shall discuss about integration test both in java and the kotlin and then we have to find the operations also that means a complete pyramid of test we have to cover okay so as uh, we work with the espresso that uh, be related to your uh, recycler view last time we have discussed and login values that means the login page we have discussed and uh, there will be the three important factors whenever you work with espresso always uh, that is important view matchers view actions and view assertions so we have to find first which view we have to work that means particular id with text with id that's all we have discussed view actions and view assertions then we have to perform some actions that's called your view actions and view assertions that means some calculation on that on the on particular methods okay so these all we have to always consider in the mind okay and uh, uh, these we we have already worked and uh, we work with your espresso simple testing and we have worked with the rules and recycler view we have covered on my previous session with the kotlin and uh, um, as we are working today with the intent so the important part with the intent that means how we can use with the rules that means how we can uh, apply the android test implementations okay so here we have to find uh, some important factors number one that's your runner number two your rules number three yours intents and number four core so these four be the important factors whenever you work and the kotlin that means your intent test rules we need it and we have worked with the intended and intending both the functionality with the intent validation today so here whenever you work with the intent there are two important factors that means two important uh, espresso test that's called your intended and intending intended that means whenever you get access the other activity so that's we use on the on that case and intending is just little difference i will describe you uh, uh, during the practical so here we have assert that and the other values but don't go with that today uh, we work some other day but here we need a uh, important thing that's called your intended first so that's your intents records all intents that attempt to the launch activities from the application under test these already described uh, in the java session and here i just simply say it is just like with the mokito dot verify i will describe you when we work with the mokito but at this time don't go with that you just simply say whenever you launch the activity and want to get access that means using the has component you get access the other activity that's called your uh, intended okay so that's the way we can get access the values and we need a uh, intent test rule for this that's the most important part but how we can implement in your kotlin that i will describe you and uh, also we can send some parameter values with the intent that also we can check 
right here i will describe this this difference between intending and intended intended means as we uh we get access the other activity but intending means just when we get back the result on the previous one and on that second activity we have to work something so that's be uh, intending works in your test case so lot of things be there in using the intending but just simply in a simple way and here we need uh, instrumentations activity result for that okay i will describe you these all practically okay so let us start it in android studio how we can achieve all this okay so let us start in android studio and here we need this implementation we have a rules as presto intents runner unit and core okay this already we they are already new files okay so let's start it on main activity here we have nothing we just uh, two buttons one is send now other is click view and third is text view i would it represent be the visible or a gone case uh, i will describe you when we work with the intending get back the result on the previous one and this second activity nothing else it's just a simple activity we have to pass some intents on that and here we have our intent that means on a click on the send button we have to access that intent that is your intent second activity and start that activity okay so that's the work we have to uh, start that is a uh, simple and here for this what we need it we need a uh, go to and is your test and for the test create a new test and that's your main activity test and set up before if you want otherwise no need of that and you go for a uh, android test whenever you work with the express so i told you many times so that's the simple work okay and here i showed to you that we have to work with the rules so the rules are important whenever uh, we work with this express so and with the rule you have to work with add jvm field because of sometimes it gives an issue on the kotlin and uh, here if you go with your public where intent test rule and that intent test rule be your intent test rule and this is your for main activity class dot java okay so that's the way you have to start for the intents and here your fun and this is your espresso test whatever you name you want to give it to that simple testing b start here so whenever you work with this espresso first we have to find on our view espresso dot on view with id alt enter and here you go for your r dot id dot send button yes that's the name dot perform because of on a click that works on a click it get access to other intent okay and uh, this is for our test that is the most important okay say alt enter so we can play this this all be ready and now we have to go for as we discuss what be the intended alt enter has component and here we have a component that's for your we have to get access which activity second activity class dot java dot name okay so for this first we have to check this test so let's see first uh, we have to get access our emulator and then see what happen with this on journey motion okay so here we can see that uh, the result be of this 
yeah you can click and then go to the intent for the second one okay so that's the way we can work on okay so now uh, we have to move on the second way or second approach just hide this if you go for the other rule that's called your as we have done many times the other rule is your where activity test rule okay and that test rule be your here we have a activity test rule and the same main activity class dot java just copy paste it okay so now we go for the second act way so that means you have to go you have to follow the simple way that's your well that means we have a uh, many ways to get access this this is your intent and uh, when you get access that intent we have to call using the activity test rule dot launch activity okay so that's the way we have to work with your intent so we have to get access that activity and we launch it without perform click that's very simple okay now let's see what be the result okay so here we can see the result what happened with that um, the gradle build is running just wait a minute okay so you can see that uh, it's very simple it uh, can launch the activity by the other rule okay now we have to move on the intending so for this if you have any values just like uh, i want to put something intent dot uh, put extra and uh, i say i want to send the name vishal and the same vishal okay and on your main activity do the same process or you can use it different for fail the test so here that i already describe all the theory on a java session please uh, watch that for the more theory uh, here so for this what we need it that means we have to move on the second activity and get back the result from the second activity to the previous one so these kind of things we need are intended behavior and intended that means we have to reach on the second activity and intending means we get back the results on the previous one i already described many things on the java so that's the most important session on the java of the same video okay so here we need a instrument uh we can say instrumentation result and that result be your instrumentation mm, yes dot activity result okay so whenever you work with this act instrumentation activity result that's your instrumentation dot activity result and uh, sorry that okay and in this result what we pass we pass activity dot 
result okay comma whatever be your intent you want to pass on okay so that's the way we have to work with uh, intending so intending behavior is here alt enter and we want to go for the package okay so that means on that package we have to get access the second activity and here we need a name okay and in java we work with get name so the same thing we have name so first we have to check what happened uh, with this intending but how we can respond with dot respond with instrumentation result that's the way we can get access to the previous one now let's see what be the result and other phase what we have to do as uh, uh, we have to get back on the previous activity and then check on second time the previous activity button we click automatically and it shows the text view values video so but first we have to go get back the things on the previous one so let's see how the intending work okay so let's see the result of the intending what happened with this and um, we can get access but the main thing is we have to uh, back on the previous so we'll show you after this so the test is passed that means the half test is passed okay and uh, now we have to move for how we can work with your espresso back one okay now uh, what to do now we have to go this uh, on the second button here we have to click because of on click of this second button our text file visibility be visible but it performs using the text so this is our text text value it is a visible text that means here we can say test pass well maybe anything you want to at this time just showing to you you can pass any name with that but at the visibility gone so what we have to do we go for the test it get back the things to the previous activity and click that button and its button name is um, second send button 2 okay uh, so for this first we go for the espresso dot on view and uh, the same with id and r dot id dot send button 2 okay and that means perform i think it's a very easy testing whenever you work but i will show you how we can use the assert be here first you have to practice on just all the tests as i describe you on the recycler view i will describe you more tests on the recycler view basics and complicate it also and uh, we discuss the intent again intent with mojito again and uh, then we have integrate all the things so here the simple way we have to perform and now but uh, what happened that because of when it first it get uh, go to the second activity and get back to the previous one using the intent D, it gives you a null because of it never get access button values text values i already described in a brief in java session and so i'm again say that uh, i put the session below sorry uh, link below you must click on and watch that tutorial okay the same on the java but i again say that simply so these kind of stuffs that means you can say on the stack overflow there are a lot of issues with the null issues uh, in that cases that means previous that be a espresso test fail or we can't get access to that because of just simply uh, performance behavior because of everything should be on the test behavior so what to do you can go for the espresso 
dot press back because of it take a control to go back the previous activity okay and here you can say the espresso dot class the uh, close soft keyword okay so that means we can close the keyboard of this espresso so we can get access this particular and if you want uh, to stay um, for a time so this is your slip 2000 and uh, after that you can also be just slow down the speed and that's very easy so this is the last test we have worked that is called here intending so these be the important factors whenever you get back the result on the previous activity and in a complex structure in coming sessions i will describe you how we can show that or how you can get access the previous one from the second activity just like your camera uh, and uh, your uh, that means a gallery photos and if you want to go for some web views get data results so a lot of stuff uh, stops me there on the complex kind of uh, test okay so let's see what with this uh, intending result that's the final one okay so let's see okay so let's see what be the final result of espresso get back it goes and then it show to you test is pass okay it's automatically be everything be there so that means we can pass it with a thread dot slip 2000 so you can uh, check your test with this slow down the speed using this and this is the simple espresso press back and close soft keyboard so that's the way we can test the intent and uh, soon I will make a more video set to the complex structure of this uh, So just first practice on simple intents of the Kotlin and must watch the Java session uh, of the same and uh, Learn the theory part on from this. So thank you so much for the day and we will come for the more videos in coming session